Kia ora, internet. Remember all those fabric squares that my family helped me paint when I was down in Alexandra at Easter? A big pile of really colourful blocks of all sorts. It's going to be an interesting quilt, but I think you're going to like it. <laughs> well, it's about time I turned them into a quilt. the fabric squares that I was cutting up when we painted them. I just aimed for something a little bit bigger than five inches. So now I need to trim them down to be actual five inch squares. I've marked the five inch square on my ruler and I've added some diagonal lines that hopefully will help me to center the pictures. I'm not going to worry too much about the grain of the fabric being straight. I'm just worrying about whether the picture looks square. A few of these paintings went a little bit beyond the borders of the 5 inch square, but I'm not really losing too much by trimming them down to 5 inches, so I think it's okay. This one is way too big though. If I trim it down to 5 inches, I'm going to lose too much of the design. So I think I'll reserve it and use it on the back as a kind of label. So for now, I'm only going to square it up. I'm not going to really worry about what size it is. I just want to fit as much of the design in as I possibly can. So not counting that one, I've got 50 blocks, which doesn't really divide up nicely for a layout. So I've added a few fabrics from my stash so I can get a nice 7x10 layout. The extra fabrics, which read as solid, break up the background a bit as well. And they make those blocks where we've coloured in the background not stand out quite so much against the white. Yeah, I like that layout. Now I just need to sew it all together. That looks good, but it needs a border. Okay, so that inner border was easy, but now I need to choose a fabric for a wide outer border. There's lots of butterflies among the paintings, so maybe add some more? No, I don't really like the cream. I really like this fabric, but it just doesn't give enough contrast. I want something darker. Hmm, that's better, but it's a bit plain. It has little rainbow dots in it, but they're not really standing out. Ah, oh, I think I found it. I bought this fabric ages ago and tending it for a completely different project but it's perfect for what I want here so I think I'm going to sacrifice it. Yeah that was definitely the right choice. I wanted to piece that extra square into the backing plus I'd made a label that I'd asked everyone who painted squares to sign so I thought I might as well piece that in as well. And then to carry on the butterfly theme I found these scraps from a Hungry Caterpillar panel, which was on the swap table at my guild. So I pieced them in too. I think that makes a really fun backing. I'm going to keep the quilting pretty simple because I don't want to detract from the paintings. So I'm just going to quilt arcs around the edges of each square. borders I'm going to quilt some big loose feathers.
and there's all our lovely paintings turned into a quilt. Quilting's pretty simple, but I think it's pretty effective. It just nicely frames each of the little pictures. And most importantly, it'll be warm and comforting to some young rainbow person who really needs a hug. And this is a hug from my family to them. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment. And I will see you next time. Ka kite anō internet. Mm -hmm.